Which volcano in the United States do you think is the most dangerous? This country contains a total of 160 active and potentially active volcanoes, of which 49 of these have erupted since the year 1900. Would it be a volcano which produced several of the planet's largest explosive eruptions in human history, such as Mount Churchill in Alaska, a volcano with frequent generally non-explosive eruptions, such as Mauna Loa, or a volcano which hasn't erupted for a long time, but if it were to, could threaten hundreds of thousands of people, such as Mount Rainier? While it is difficult to truly rate how hazardous a volcano is, there is a decent methodology that this video will use to answer this question, as linked in a paper created and published by the U.S. Geological Survey. I thus present the five most potentially dangerous volcanoes in the United States, starting from the most dangerous. The single most potentially dangerous volcano in the United States. Drum roll, please. Is the Kilauea volcano in Hawaii? I figure that about now the majority of you are shaking your head in disbelief or saying, "Huh, Geology Hub, what are you talking about? Shouldn't it be Mount St. Helens since it produced the costliest and highest fatality eruption in the modern history of the United States?" To this, I say part of the prior statement is incorrect. As it was Kilauea and not Mount St. Helens which produced the highest fatality eruption since the nation was founded in 1776. While the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens resulted in 57 fatalities, a little-known highly explosive eruption of Kilauea in 1790 killed at least 400 people. While generally a volcano that erupts almost purely effusively, Kilauea in its long history sometimes undergoes century-long episodes where it switches to explosive activity, sometimes producing pyroclastic flows and surges that have the potential to incinerate multiple miles in every direction around its summit. Kilauea just so happens to be in a long-term effusive phase at the present, but there is no guarantee that this will still be present a century from now. Kilauea is not only the most likely volcano to be actively erupting in the United States, but also in any given year has the highest chance of any United States volcano of causing property damage, building damage, and fatalities. Since 70% of Kilauea is covered by lava flows under 500 years in age, and 90% is covered by lavas under 1,100 years in age, it should not come as a surprise that it has caused more than one billion dollars in damage since the 1900s. Moving down to second on the list is Mount St. Helens. Even if Mount St. Helens did not produce the costliest and most well-known United States volcanic eruption in 1980, it would still earn this very same spot. Why? Well, Mount St. Helens is one of the most consistently explosive volcanoes on the planet, and is the most active volcano in the entire Cascade Mountain range. Ignoring 1980, Mount St. Helens has fairly frequently incinerated dozens to hundreds of square miles through pyroclastic flows, has partially collapsed at least twice, and produced lahars which traveled up to 60 miles downstream. Third on our list is Mount Rainier in the state of Washington. While Mount Rainier has not erupted in more than 500 years, if it was to erupt, it has the potential to kill far more people and devastate far larger regions than any other volcano in the country. The reason Mount Rainier contains a cubic mile worth of glaciers, in addition to itself being highly hydrothermally altered, meaning it is prone to creating large landslides. If a decently sized eruption unexpectedly occurred, it could melt a large volume of overlying ice, sending it down slope and placing more than 150,000 people at risk. For example, here is a mapped area of what was covered by a single lahar in 3600 BCE. We witnessed a similar situation occur at Colombia's Nevado del Ruiz volcano in 1985, and that killed 25,000 people 30 miles away from the volcano. The only reason Mount Rainier isn't any higher on this list is its fairly low eruptive rate. Fourth on this list is Alaska's Redoubt volcano southwest of Anchorage. Redoubt's location along the Cook Inlet means that whenever it erupts, major air traffic disruptions throughout much or all of Alaska is guaranteed. 
While no one lives fairly close to this volcano, there is a major oil storage facility along a riverbed which is frequented by lahars about once every 20 years from explosive eruptions. Thankfully, a major environmental disaster has not yet occurred there. Fifth on this list is California's Mount Shasta volcano. Shasta not only has a similar, albeit less pronounced, lahara danger than Mount Rainier since it also contains glaciers, but also is highly explosive. Several times in the past, subplanian and planian eruptions generated pyroclastic flows which reached regions up to 12 miles away from Shasta's summit. Since these longer flows have originated from the Shastina Cone on Shasta's west side, and this happens to mark where 11,000 people live, you can see the potential risks there. All of these regional towns would likely need to be evacuated if Shasta was to erupt again.